What traits in a girl do you find attractive or impressive? Aside from her physical appearance, guys. Story 1. One of the main reasons I started dating my current girlfriend was because she accidentally spilled popcorn in my car after our first date. Profusely apologized. Asked if she could clean it up car is a post so I didn't care, got home. She texted me apologizing again. I dunno why but her caring about spilling popcorn in my shitty car made me realize hey. Maybe she can care about me too. Story 2. Critical thinking skills are hot. Would adjust this to curiosity. Curious people who who investigate, inquire, and show genuine interest often use critical thinking as a byproduct. I actually say this impresses me in anyone. When managing people. If I have a curious employee who wants to know why something works the way it does, or wants to find the tool, or technology to improve, they are always earmarked for career investment. In women, finding a curious person means that you will be with someone who will likely not bore you over the long haul because curiosity as a personality trait means that she's the type of person to engage in things that are important and that keeps that every day is the same creep that tends to infiltrate a relationship. Story 3. Accountability. If she can openly admit when she's wrong, or that she aff up that's attractive as it shows maturity and ability to judge yourself impartially, and it means you are less likely to repeat the mistake. This also means what you feel for her is not only love, it's respect which is just as important. I have dated girls in the past who could never just say I was wrong, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I get that it's hard sometimes. But it's relieving to admit wrongdoing and ask for forgiveness. But when you obsessively chase, not having done wrong in the first place, it's actually a tax on both parties. Story 4. Not exclusive to girls, but having a hobby, interest that they are very knowledgeable, passionate with. Even if it's something super benign like painting nails or Baseball, I just love people who can ramble on about their interest, especially if I'm not into it. It's like peeking into another world. Knew a girl that was into knitting, but not just like knew how to cross stitch. Full on had a setup where she would turn wool into yarn and even. Had a favorite small sheep farm she would order from exclusively. Was interesting as hell to me. Story 5. My wife laughs are literally everything. Sometimes she watches a show on her laptop in our room, and I hear her cracking up from down the hall. Absolutely love it. Story 6. I find a woman's voice. To be one of the best factors in determining if I'm attracted to a woman, I was a phone S operator for over a decade. I initially went into it because random dudes would just go nuts. For my voice all the time, I'd call in for customer support on my phone and the tech guy would ask for my number and things like that. I still sell my voice for a living, but not in the S industry anymore. My clients are all women now, but even though they aren't attracted to me S for the most part, I still get comments on it. Tons are surprised at my age too. I'm 46 but still easily sound like I'm in my 20s. Story 7. Being self-sufficient. I don't want to date a dependent. When my wife and I were dating one of the things that made her stand out was that she was totally self-sufficient, she didn't need help nor did she expect it. We dated for almost two years before making the decision to move in together and that was mostly a confluence of circumstances. She wanted to live on her own because it was freedom for her. Story 8. If she's got a dark sense of humor, I've got the most f-up sense of humor there is. And even I get surprised sometimes by how dark some people can go if they can shock me. It's oddly attractive. Story 9. How they treat themselves self-care. How they treat others' friendships. How they work with others' collaboration. What they enjoy learning curiosity. And what they enjoy doing creativity. Story 10. Being emotionally intelligent and mature. Which includes having kindness, empathy, etc. can go a long way as it shows me that. You're capable of being a decent person towards myself, others, and that you won't be someone who I have to be careful around. Bonus points if I get a vibe that you're a chill person to be around. Story 11. The same traits I look for in a best friend. General vibe needs to be on point. Thoughtful, kind, sassy, I'm perfectly happy single. 
So my partner needs to add to my life and make our time together more valuable than my time alone. Story 12. Confidence. It's exhausting to be in a relationship with someone who constantly requires reassurance, praise, and affirmation. Know your worth and if others don't recognize it, move on and find relationships with people who do. I understand what you mean but keep in mind that praise, affirmation, and reassurance is absolutely something that everybody needs and wants. I'm sure there's some experience behind your comment, but it's about finding a balance between knowing your own worth and being with someone who empowers that understanding. For some people, their own worth is easier to understand, with a bit of outside help. Story 13. A bit of a simple one here, but I love when a girl can sing. My wife claims she can't can't carry a tune in a bucket, but when she sings, it's beautiful to my ears. I've been a musician my whole life and feel I have reasonably good judgment on vocal quality. When we have a couple drinks, I'll get my guitar out and can occasionally convince her to sing a few songs with me. It's one of my favorite things we do. Story 14. The ability to be one of the guys. I like a cute, pretty, pampered princess as far as looks. I'll admit I'm a sucker for the innocent, girly girl look, but I'd rather have someone I can take out on insane adventure, or go do stupid shit with fireworks, or play video games and swear at each other while making us jokes. Just that comfortable personality where I don't have to impress her and I can just be me. Story 15. Actually showing me her. I remember I was playing pool with a girl I was interested in, and she was actually trying, not just doing some sort of teehee I missed again thing, to make me feel good and treating the whole thing as a flirtation device. She was bringing her a game and I respected her a lot for it. I wasn't threatened by it. I was very happy about it and invigorated by it. It let me know I could actually address her. With the same sort of treatment she was showing, the same sort of realness. Like we were on the same level. My respect went up a whole lot. Story 16. Intelligence and Drive. A woman who can criticality think and create opinions rather than follow others. Is extremely attractive and is a necessity to be considered a partner. Additionally, she needs to have the drive to create something with her life. If she just is waiting for a guy to provide everything for her, then it doesn't matter how she looks. She isn't attractive. Story 17. Sometimes I feel like I just like everyone. My standards are almost non-existent. If I spend more than a few hours every day for like three weeks with someone, I'm at risk of falling in love because I don't do that shit for anybody. Had to address this same situation today actually and tell a girl I'm friends with that I need some distance because goddamn we've been talking a lot. And I'm starting to catch feelings, and I don't like that. That's some scary shit right there. 